Hello everybody and welcome back to Toy Commander and I have no sound. There we go. I just have my headset headset down too much. Now, we are on the attic. This is a pretty hard set of levels, I've got to be honest. Um practicing it earlier, I kind of realized just how hard this is. But let's have a go. Let's see if we can beat it in 40 minutes. I'm slightly optimistic. Let's do it. Now, we're against Pegasus, and she's a rocking horse. She, as a boss, she's not too difficult. Uh, she's harder than some. You should be used to races by now. Let's see what you're worth. And the controls of a helicopter, one, two, or three. You know the drill. Okay, now, as races go, this one's actually not too bad. I'll try and hook that up over there. There we go. Let's go, let's do this thing. Alright. Now, part of the reason why this race isn't too bad is because just how well the helicopter handles. It's really cool. Again, it's quite a short race as well. And I believe the other helicopters and things we're against are a lot slower. Whoop, whoop, that was sketchy. Oh crap. There we go. Alrighty. Not bad, not bad. Now let's keep this going. Uh, if you want to make the race harder, you can try collecting the boosts, but um, when I was practicing, that never ended well, so we're going to skip the boosts for this run. You don't need them to beat the time either, but that's fine. Whoa, that was a little bit annoying, but that shouldn't stuff us up too much. Whoa, shit. Okay. Starting to get caught on a lot of things. That happens. Not quite sure why that uh, knight is living. Uh, I guess that kind of makes um, no sense to criticise that, given the rest of the game. But it's just fairly odd. I, I always thought that, even as a kid, I thought that was quite strange. Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. help. Not good, not good. Come on, man, forwards, forwards. How are we doing? One more lap. Now, there's a gun on the floor there. Uh, we just went past it. And I can't help but think that it's supposed to be significant in some way, but I'm not sure to what game or, oh crap, or series it's significant to. Let's keep this going. I keep thinking Robocop, but it's nothing like Robocop's gun. Easy. Oh no. Have we fluffed this? No, we're good. See how much time you get. I think we have 210 to do this. Yeah. Even with all those cock ups, <clears throat> we still beat it by about 9 seconds. Yeah. My test time was a lot better. Never mind. And just gotta keep an eye on my headset there. Make sure it doesn't rattle too much. Uh, it's certain you must be cheating. It's the only plausible reason I can think of. I think not. Little Big Taxi next. Um. I got a turbo controller, <laughs> really. With switches. No, I have one of those for my Mega Drive. Yeah, Mega Competition Drive. Pro. But no, as far I don't actually know if they ever did release uh, Turbo Fire for the Dreamcast. I think they might have. No way. But anyway, I digress. You've been so busy with your silly games that you've forgotten the golden rule. You must never leave a girl waiting. What Pegasus means is that Jenny is waiting for Matt in front of the station and she's getting angry because he's not there. Find Matt, then drive him there before Jenny gives up and leaves on the next train. Ascend the ramps to find your fare. Well, alrighty then. Okay, let's do this thing. And there, that's totally not Barbie. And that's totally not Ken. Or whatever he's called. It is Ken, isn't it? Barbie and Ken, I think. Oh, crap, here we go. Right, now this car is actually really loud. But this track isn't too bad. I've got to try and remember where to go now. Bear with me. I have done this before. Once or twice. Uh, I think we go through here. Damn. Ah, it was... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we've got to go over the the head of the bear rug. Yeah, we do. Now, we have to get this pretty perfect dead on. Up and over! 
Oh my god, that was a complete and utter fail. Actually, do we have to go up and over there? Oh crap. Don't say I've forgotten the way to go already. It's possible. That looks good, that looks good. Oh bugger. Now, this is a really hard jump to make. Just because the. Um, I don't know, let me turn my headset down. It's deafening me. Uh, da, 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 da. There we go. Just because uh, the actual detection box for that hole isn't as big as it looks. Out of the way, Dick. Coming through. Oh, you bellend. That was not good. And in all fairness, I don't think we now have time. That was more like it. Hmm, okay. Let's restart that. I think I'm doing this wrong. Okay. I think what we actually have to do... I've got to try and think now, because the trouble with the attic is a lot of the missions are races. Uh, not races, are mazes. How do I get races and mazes confused? Um, so, come on. Here we go. No. We do actually have to turn off here. Okay. Now, I always had problems with this race. Uh, this, there I go again, calling it a race. I always had problems with this mission. I know, this is where we want to be, I think. I always got confused. There we go. There. I'm getting confused with possibly the next mission, I believe it is. But that's okay. We should be okay to beat the time. Alright, now let's get our plastic friend. Get in. Now. This is where it gets a little bit tricky. Because... I mean, there might be a different way of doing this, but the best way I've found uh, is by actually going across the train tracks. Now, I'm sure, I swear when I was a kid, I don't remember going across train tracks. Well, but, we should have smashed the time, actually. 2.10, wow! Yeah, I think this is my best time. Awesome. And there's the miserable tart herself. There we go. Ken was just trying to have some fun. You know what they're like, these damn Barbie dolls. What are we doing? Uh, yeah, yeah, that really is my best time as well, by far. Very cool. I suppose it isn't so awful that you beat me this time. At least Jenny can now get home safe. Us girls have to stick together, you see. Oh, God. Mission parachuting. Um, hmm. Now, this mission is actually quite good in theory, but... It, there is so much luck involved here, it's unreal. But let's go for it. My friends only have one base in this attic. But I doubt you can take control, unless you have parachutist, uh, parachutists, of course. Unfortunately, your troops are grounded because they have no means of transport. Your plane can't take off due to the enemy tanks. Get rid of them somehow, then parachute your soldiers into the heart of the enemy base. You've gotten this far... Uh, so you've proven that you don't suck, <laughs> but you'll need something else to suck in order to get through this level. Hmm, okay. Many things could be said there. So you can see our base is getting an absolute hammering. Now this is quite a cool level. I do like it in theory, but because there's so much luck involved, we may have to restart this one a good few times. Uh, again, if I feel it's too much, I will cut it out. But we'll see. It'll be alright in the night. Let's do it. Come on. There we go. I don't know where there's fuel there. There's some very strange um, placements of items in some of these levels. There really is. Now, we need to flick the hoover on. There we are. Down. And up. Now, what is actually quite annoying here is you can't you can't actually switch to your other vehicle until all of these have been destroyed. And if you look carefully, if we go down here, next time a plane gets sucked, uh, a tank gets sucked in, I like the way you actually see them go up the hoover. I thought that was quite a cool little effect. 
Yoink. Any more? Yep. Now this can burn an awful lot of time. Right, let's go. Now we have this transport plane. And it is my least favourite transport plane because it is so slow. So let's go pick up a group of dudes. Yeah, mum. Yeah, mum. Now this is where the luck comes in. We've got to drop them into this base. There we go. But the trouble with that is they get blown everywhere. As you can see, they kind of really are at the mercy of the physics system. So we can't let up. We have to keep dropping guys in there. Now one of the annoying things that can happen is all your men can be killed before the mission's complete. And yeah, it's kind of really unfair. I say that like a little schoolboy. It's so unfair. But no, really, it can be very annoying. Okay, there's two towers down. You know what? That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Let's go pick up some more guys. Now, you have three, like, platoons of men. Or three squads, I should say. And, um... you got to hope for the best. Now, all the men that haven't died, you can pick up again and then redrop them in. Which we're going to be doing quite a lot. Come on, guys. Get back in there. All right, we've got another four to drop in. Now, someone's still rattling off rounds. I don't know who that is. Okay, ready, guys? I need to keep a beady ass eye on our damage gauge. Now, you can see these guys are being knocked around all over the place. There we go. Now, let's grab some health. There is some health here. Um, and I think possibly there is some more. I can't think where it is off the top of my head. Okay. Unfortunately, when these guys are out of range, they stop attacking as you'd expect. Come on. Come on. Not good, not good. Now we're burnt halfway through our time. Wow, look how far that guy got. Look at him. It's almost as if they catch some kind of draft or something. Come on you soldier, you're not done yet. Get your ass back in there. I want to see some results. Uh, I wish you could tell them... I mean, I know that's a bit advanced for this game, but... I wish you could kind of tell them what to attack. Because they will attack... Uh, whatever target they feel like attacking. Even if it isn't the thing that's shooting at them and knocking them back. So, that's kind of a little annoyance there. And we are losing some guys. Now that didn't work out very well at all. I don't know where the hell I am, but that's cool. Let's grab some go juice. There we are. I assume these aircraft run on imagination. Come on. Come on. Turn. There we go. Now our men are scattered everywhere, man. Jeez. Okay. Come on, Private. Let's get you guys back into the hot zone. Now, if we can... Hopefully, if they can just take out that last tower, everything will be easy. There, that should. Okay, nice. There's no more towers attacking them. So, if we're lucky, we can now just drop the rest of the guys in there. Wow, look how far some of these guys got scattered. Crazy. Alright, lads. Your way is clear. Get in there. Alright. Now that tower's knocked over, but it's not dead. Oh, it's dead now. There we go. That might be my best time there. Look at that guy just swinging in the wind. 5.07. Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah, a good 28 seconds uh, quicker. Not bad. It's unbelievable. These toys are completely crazy. What did you promise them to make... Uh, to make them let you get away with this so easily. I promise them the world. What else? Okay, hold up. Ah. This mission is quite easy. Now, there are two potential really challenging missions on this um, in this room. And that is Quiet Riot and Hazel the Witch. There's quite a few things that could potentially go wrong here. However, we're on a roll, so let's keep going. Hold up.
Thief, my jewellery. Look what happens when you get involved in dangerous games. But who hasn't played Cops and Robbers? Get a small group of thieves together to help you recover the eight treasures hidden in three different places. Be careful not to destroy a single one. Then hide them in your base. Note that some walls may be less than they, they appear. Try blasting them and see what happens. Now, it says here grab a small group of thieves, but you really don't need to do it. And that's one uh, one place you can save an awful lot of time. So let's do this thing. We're going to switch up to this bad boy first. And damn it, I swear this game is getting louder. I uh, see what's happening. My inline mic is actually rubbing. Ah, uh, oh my, oh my jeans! My God, that's made it worse. Okay, slight technical difficulties. There we go. Right, so up and over. Now we've got some guys in there, and uh, it says pick them up. But you know what? I really don't know why they don't do much at all. So let's creep over here like the creeper we are. Waste that guy and that guy. Okay, there's not a lot of resistance to be honest. There's, I mean, there's a couple of um, soldiers and there's a couple. I think there's one tank that drives around. Now the tank really doesn't do much at all. And usually I don't destroy him, but maybe, maybe we will, maybe we won't. Depends where we find them. Uh, right in front of us. You know what, let's waste him. Ah, power up. Not too shabby. Where is he? There he is. Alright, not bad. We profited from that. So let's open up this. I, I love the way these break. I think that's so cool. Little foil wrappings. I don't know why I like that, but it's just, I don't know. Even as a kid, I really thought that was cool. Like, oh my god, destructible environments. It's like, well, well, not quite, but, you know. They were trying, damn it. There's a brave new world back in 1999. Okay, so let's long shot him and him. And then up and over. Okay. Alright, and then we have this awesome piggy bank. And believe it or not, all of the hard work for this mission is done. They give you eight minutes to do this. I guess that's uh, mainly for exploration and exploring, but. Damn it. But, I guess if you're going to be exploring the level, then you can just keep retrying the game, so I'm not sure. Right, we don't need this thing anymore. So let's go get some treasure. This thing always reminds me of Scooby-Doo, their uh, mystery machine. I think most people are familiar with Scooby-Doo from around the world. It was pretty popular. Alright, so let's go steal some stuff. Now the best thing to do here, really, is to grab all the stuff out of this castle. Is there just three pieces? Is there? I thought that was four. <laughs> oh, never mind. I could have sworn there was four, though. And we've got plenty of time, so let's just have a look. No? Okay, okay. That is... Mm, that's interesting. I could have sworn there was four pieces of jewellery there, but never mind. Unless it's slightly randomised, which it could be, I guess. So, now what we're going to do, we're going to take the stuff back. Whoa, that played hell with my eyes then for a minute. That was a bit weird. And, because we need to pick up, I think there's another, yeah, I think there's another six pieces of treasure. Which, obviously, we can only fit five pieces in this thing. So that's interesting. Okay. But then, I guess that's why they give you so much time. Because, um, there is a lot of back and forth thing. And if it is going to be random, it's going to be hard to optimise, uh, what plan or what route to take. Although, I don't know. I'm still not sure if it is random. Okay. So that's grab this, yeah, look, no, 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 three, so it's two, it's five, yeah, okay, no, that's fine, so you only have to make two trips then, interesting, so yeah, look at that, it's blitzing this, absolutely blitzing it, I 
don't know if I've beat my time. Possibly. One more piece of treasure, and that would suck major ass if we fell off that then. And you even fall straight off into your, um, your little area here as well, which is pretty interesting. Uh, oi, oi, oi. One coin's trying to escape. This obviously is about how many coins you have. There we go. Yeah, 432. Look at that, we smashed the time. They give you eight minutes to do that. Wow. Okay, you can't even trust enemies nowadays. It's much too easy to beat records under these circumstances. Well, if you say so. Quiet Riot or Hazel the Witch? Hmm. Let's go for Quiet Riots. Now, we have three and a half minutes to do this. Now, this is my least favorite mission of the room. What a lot of agitation in this attic. Everything's usually so calm. Could you tidy things up a bit, please? Um, let me try and... There we go. I'm trying to balance my inline um, microphone because I think that might be where a lot of the troubles come from. Okay, sorry about that, guys. Try and keep these uh, disturbances down to a minimum. Okay, Pegasus has her men, and it's not gonna, not gonna do it, is it? Bloody thing! Pegasus has her men stirring up trouble. A riot is brewing, so quickly destroy the pickup truck and tanks that are causing all the problems. Well, alrighty then. I hope this video doesn't come out too crackly. Alright, so here we are, mischief makers. Now we are going to beeline this. Now I found this a very, very difficult mission to complete. Well, not necessarily complete, but to get the time. But after a shit ton of exploring, I kind of found something that works 80% of the time. Now if you go around here, there's a very sneakily hidden, sneaky bastard uh, route that you can go up. I should have taken that tank out if I was being switched on in the head. Now if we drop down here there are some power-ups and we go, oh my god, we need these power-ups. They make everything so much easier. Now I believe, is there five, five or six vehicles to destroy here? And um, they, they take different routes. So they are a pain to track down. But once you've got these weapons you're kind of safe. To a degree, anyway. See, there's a tank there. He's actually damaged. I don't know how he's damaged. But that's irrelevant to us. It's only a good thing. Most of the vehicles go up there, so you can try and cut them off. But it doesn't always work. Come on, let's kill this guy. There we are. Now, most of the trouble comes from these jeeps. And what's interesting... See how slow they're going? Wow, look at that. Oh my, really? We've got one left. Okay guys, I'm feeling a record coming on here. Let's wait for this last sack of shite to jump over the top. There we go, look at that. I'm caning this. This is my best run on this um, room set by far. Look at that guys, almost a minute ahead of my test time. Wow, I'm happy with that. How on earth did you manage to beat this record? No matter, I'm convinced I am the best. Well, we're almost at you, Sunny Jim. Hazel the Witch. Now, this is uh, this is difficult. I mean, it, it's a fun mission, but there are... Mm, I'll explain. I bet you've never tasted Hazel's yummy rabbit stew. Oh, no. That makes Peter a bit nervous. I want some rabbit stew. Yes, we have a big fat rabbit. And he's get, he gets a bit nervous when I play this mission. <laughs> this witch is... Uh, really a top-notch cook. First destroy the cooker and broom, then put out the fire under the pot before boo-hoo be boo becomes tonight's supper. Hazel must be defeated before you can douse the flames. Now, killing Daisy, uh, Hazel is difficult. She's a slippery little turd. There she is. She's so hard to keep um, your guns trained on her. And we have this vehicle, and I actually like this vehicle quite a lot. But if we slip behind here, we can get a weapon upgrade. And that weapon upgrade does respawn. 
but it takes so long for it to respawn, it almost isn't worth grabbing it a second time. So we're going to go around the level and scoop up some ordnance. Missiles are very kind of risky weapons to use on her as well because they don't track very well. So we're going to go all the way over here. I don't think she actually comes after us until we attack her. Oh, there she is. Let's give her everything we have. Now she is going to constantly fire at us. Constantly. Uh, luckily it doesn't do a lot of damage. I mean, it's very unlikely that she'll bring us down. But, there we go. That's some good hits there. Come on, concentrate. Stay on target has never been so true. Come on, you little... She is a slippery one, I'm not going to lie. <clears throat> now this is where most of the time for the mission goes. Come on, can just get a few more missiles in at her. Okay, she's going to circle the pot. It, it's almost as if, if you hit her, I think that changes her path. And I've never really worked out a real good way of defeating her either. Uh, she is really, really tricky. And a lot of that comes down to the Dreamcast pad. And the Dreamcast pad isn't fantastic. It's not bad, but, you know, I try to be as honest as possible. The machine is really, really good, but the pad, not so much. There we go, she's down. And again, we're talking record time here. So let's land. Now we need to, we've got about a minute and a half, yeah, about a minute and a half left. So let's go save a rabbit. <clears throat> I've pretty much got this down to a T. I say that. Let's try and pull it off. Alright, so let's... Yes! That's what I want to see. Alright. Let's grab up. Nope, get it. Oh, look at that! There's another power-up under that, um... Under that bridge there. I've never seen that before. Interesting. Okay, come on. Let's go up. It is best to kind of dive bomb this fire. There we go. Is that out? Is that out? If that's... Yes. Should have this in the bag. Fingers crossed. Okay. So that's up and over. And then let's douse this thing. Okay, come on. Come on. Yes. Not bad. Not bad at all. I like the way he mops his brow there and then munches down a carrot. 306, high score. Not bad at all, actually, guys. Yeah, beat my old time by about 22 seconds. You see how long it took me, how I, uh, <coughs> practicing my technique, got slowly got better, but she is really tricky to keep in your sights. Once again, only luck can explain how you managed to beat my record. Wait a minute, a minute ago we was cheating apparently. Okay, now <clears throat> I'm not, I don't know, my confidence isn't exactly that high against this boss because she can be quite hard. Sweetheart, it's t the time has come for to settle our differences and let me uh, assure you there's going to be trouble and she's not wrong there she is quite tough but she is a big boss um, plenty of junk in the trunk so she's pretty easy to hit most of the time but she's quite fast as well okay so first thing we're gonna do is try and pick up some weapons because as you'll notice you don't start off with much and check out that Sega Saturn. Yeah, I thought that was so cool that there's a Sega Saturn in the attic. It shouldn't be in the attic, no, it should be next to the Dreamcast. I don't actually have a Sega Saturn. That's the one uh, Sega console that I, I don't have. I must rectify that at some point, because it has an amazing library of games. Okay, so we're just going to keep going around and around. Ouch. Picking up some weapons. There is... Actually, can you destroy the sand? No, you can't. I was going to say, there might be a cool little power-up hidden in there or something. Now, you'll notice... Um, I don't know if you will notice, actually, but 
Every now and again, I get some distortion on, uh, on the, when I'm recording the Dreamcast on the actual game sound, and I know what that is, but there's nothing I can really do. It's the VGA to HDMI digital converter I've got. It's a cheap Chinese knockoff, and I say cheap. Uh, it wasn't really, but um, it's got a very loose power cable, and sometimes if you wiggle the power supply, it kind of makes this weird sound. I just want a few more, a few more missiles. Unfortunately, the professional grade ones are literally hundreds of pounds, so I will get one, but not yet. 58. We should have enough money now to take this take this flying horse on. The first thing we've got to do is get our wings up. There we go. Now, this ouch is uh, the next bit is these handles. Now each handle has to be removed. It doesn't take a lot. Come on. Come on. Yes, there we go. When you've only got one handle left, it's a lot easier. Come on. Oh, great. <laughs> Sailed right over there. Yeah, pretty hard to hit, I've got to be honest. Now, during my testing, I was using the machine gun to take it out, but it takes quite a long time. Yes, there we go. Now, just got to take her head out. Which we will do, but first we're going to pick up some health. We've only got 19 missiles as well, so... And with bingo fuel too. Okay, no worries. All under control. I lied. Where's the fuel? There it is. Let's just go and grab some more missiles. I mean, 30, this should bring us up to 30 something. 34, that should be plenty. As long as we get enough in there. Now, her head is actually quite hard to hit. Because she's constantly aiming at us with her homing missiles. Come on, come on. Alright, let's give her everything we have. Come on, you. No, 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 no. These really do a lot of damage as well, so that's not good. Come on. And it's so hard to get your aim where you want it to be with this control pad. Yes, look at that, the last shot. That was incredibly lucky. And we burnt through that room. That is insane how quickly we've done that. That Pegasus is just an old nag. Uh, I'm not in the least bit surprised that she let those rebels loose. I should turn her into firewood. Hey, steady. And burn all this old rubbish. Don't burn the satin. That's heresy. Toy Commander gives you his word. Okay, guys. Now that's the next room busted out. Look at that. So we've got the living room and winter garden to come next. Then... The basement, from what I remember, the basement is so much fun. And the living room isn't too bad either. There's a lot of fun missions there. So, yeah, look at that. Been doing a room a day. Not bad. Not bad. Anyway, guys, I hope you've enjoyed that. I know I have. Thanks for watching. And uh, more to come very soon.